and Buzz uh, Esta. First of all, Buzz, congratulations mm -hmm. on winning the RB. Buzz Esta selected for the Northern Star Award. They didn't know. Congratulations, that. Buzz. They found it. Richard Bradley Buzz Esta. <laughs> That's me. With the 2000 North, the award is among 11 that comprise, that comprise the Peak Award. This is the number one. Did you go there and accept it for Lake Honorable State Park? Yep. So they gave you a big Athens resident, businessman, and a volunteer tour guide who loves talking about the history of Athens and Limestone County. You volunteer for about everything because evidently you don't have a lot to do on weekends. Um, <laughs> Serve as a guide for some Lime County out of Bell. What is it you? What all do you do, Buzz, as a volunteer? I mean, tell me. I'm, I'm honored that you I, do that. Well, thank you very much. Whatever comes up, uh, what I love doing the tours. I told Jeanette that uh, under no circumstances was I going to pay them to let me do the tours. <laughs> but other than that, you talk about when you walk through downtown Athens, as we saw the, you uh, last yeah, year, got some yeah, video of you doing the downtown that. walking yeah. tours. I've done that for uh, the chamber. Well, now the tourism association. Occasionally, we'll have tour buses come through, and I'll do that for them. As, aside from what we do on now, Saturdays. Are you from Athens? Of course. Well, tell me about it. Your dad started your business. No. Who did? Tell me. My grandfather. Your grandfather. Okay, sorry. Back when? You're slacking. 1900. Goodness. I wasn't there, believe it or not. Uh, in the same location? No, we, we'd fly by night. We moved three times in the last 112 years. Oh. Well, you move around a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when the bills come due, we move. We move. So when did you move in that current location downtown? That's a new one. Moved there in 1941. So that's the new location. That's a new location. How funny. We're about to get settled. Yeah, you're about to settle <laughs> in now. You've been a plumbing, and your grandfather did that, and your dad did that, and you did that? No, my grandfather started out in a dry goods general store. I didn't do any of what we're doing today. Then when my father came back from Georgia Tech, he decided he didn't like doing that, and so he changed it. Then when my brother and I came back from uh, college in the 60s, we changed it again. So we've been changing a bit. Before we start talking about the cemeteries, Joel, and talk to you about uh, something that uh, Dear Abby had the other day. It was called National Tradesman Day. Mm -hmm. There is a shortage right now, and I think we've discussed this up here. Amen. Before. There's a shortage right now. You don't have to, everybody, run out and go to friggin' college and get a college degree to do something. There's a shortage of plumbers, there's a shortage of electricians, there's a shortage of carpenters, there's a shortage of all people like that. Why yeah. is that, Buzz? Well, it's, it's a combination of the parents and the school counselors. Everybody has this prejudice that if you work with your hands, you're inferior. And I, there are a lot of people, they have a college degree, have a career, and did, found out after they'd been in it, they didn't enjoy it. They went home well, in the evening. Well, they could get employed. Well, now that's added to it now. Uh -huh. But you know, they, how many people do you know that work in an office, but when the guy goes home, he's got a shop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A woodworking shop or- I got one, I don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I couldn't do. use a friggin' tool if I had to. We would all be scared if you pick up a hammer. My brother's got a very good woodworking shop. He's an electrical engineer. You know, a lot of people like that, and then they finally realize, wait a minute, why do I have to have two different, why do they have to be separate? Why can't I, I enjoy but working in my is hands? Is there some degree, mm -hmm. is, is, do people look down on people that are, are heating and cooling specialists, or plumbers, uh, electricians, I mean. They have, but it's, it's slowly changing. Plumbers, repairmen, you know. Yeah, well it's because it doesn't require a degree. It doesn't require letters out, outside your name. I, I'm a college graduate, but uh, I enjoy the work we do. It, it gives you a sense of satisfaction. You, you actually do something and you can see the results right then. I can cut grass. <laughs> I bought a lawnmower at Dixie last year and used it one time. Thank you, Grayson. <laughs> Grayson Bailey. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Grayson. Yeah, I can do that, but that's about it. Yeah. But it gives you a great satisfaction to be able to do something with your hands. And even when you work for a, a client, a customer, you know, that, that little pat on the back. We get uh, thanks that most people, most trades, most, well, let me say most professions don't get. How many times have you ever thanked your doctor? Right. We get thanks fairly often. Let me tell you one thing I don't... Uh like about this to do. You're talking about going to college. Everybody's taking out these student loans and everybody's complaining they can't pay them back. Well, it wasn't my fault you took out the friggin' loan. Yep. <laughs> you know, hey, pay it back. 
but Steve, there's a... And you ain't working anyway. There's a, a bias <laughs> built into our school counseling system. The school counselors in a lot of places, I don't know if that's true in Athens, but in a lot of places the counselors are judged by how many of the students they get to go to college. Mm. So when they... Some tell people it, ain't college material, Abby. Don't call their names out nothing. Abby well, is. A lot of people are intelligent enough to go to college, no problem. But they're not happy there. They, they're happy doing something. Well, oh, I was happy there. I just wasn't, I just wasn't smart enough to go. You were too, I sure was happy there. You, you were too weren't doing schoolwork. I sure was happy. You were too happy. Huh? <laughs> too happy. <laughs> too happy didn't pay attention. I got a degree, a junior college degree. I was too dumb. I got married. That's the first dumb move I made right out of school, but first time. But anyway, let's change the subject. We can always talk about being a trader later. Yeah, well, I'm glad you mentioned. Y'all don't need to go to college. Quit wasting money. Well, <laughs> let me let me that. carry one more step. You know the TV show Mike Rose, Dirty yeah, Jobs. Dirty job, yeah. He has a website and he's doing a campaign. You could almost say a crusade to get people to let their children go into the trades. They need to. Because there's a desperate need. There is no unemployment problem in the trades. Right so. now, I don't think kids want to work. And it doesn't hurt. Well, you I see how hard this it. job is. <laughs> Say again? You see how hard this job is, one hour a day, man, and a lot of people can't do this. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about what's coming up Sunday. Tell us a little bit about that uh, cemetery stroll. Well, the cemetery the stroll this year, we're expanding it a little bit. Last year it was 2 to 4. This year it's 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. My preacher said, when I said 2 o'clock, he says, Oh, is that in the afternoon? I said, no, no, that, that'll be, <laughs> it's a real ghost tour at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's <laughs> two a video from last year over there. I think this yeah. came from Jeanette. That's uh, yeah. Penny Lobenthal portraying Christine Th uh, Rogers Thompson. How many people will be dressed up in the cemetery that day? 36 of them. 36. We hope they're 36 if, if we can find two union uniforms. Having a problem finding those ugly blue uniforms. We've got now, who are some of the local people that are participating in this, Bud? I mean, uh, oh. I know, uh, last year William uh, Moffitt was in it. Young yeah. Moffitt was Shane in it. We got, we got, a, Black, we got a lot of lawyers. Shane Black. And, uh, they just want everybody to feel good about them when they get out there on uh, Sunday. <laughs> it gives them an excuse to you. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy Hill, our, uh, one of our SCV members. Chuck Kilpatrick, you probably know him. Chuck will be doing a new role, uh, the sexton of the cemetery. And I didn't even know about that, but after I started doing a little research, the sexton was the one who was in charge of everything. He didn't necessarily do it, but he, he had to what be I delegated. Yeah, he delegated, but he was the old man right, who octopus. went out and pointed Poppy. out where, where, where your grave plot was. And then he carried a sexton's key so he could probe down to make sure it wasn't occupied. Huh. What? Uh-huh. Make sure you weren't there already. <laughs> I've already got my stone oh, down. Okay. Now, who do, you, huh. who do you portray? My great-great-grandfather. Who was? Leland Estes. Okay. Leland Bacon Estes. He was, uh, served in the uh, 3rd Tennessee. Now, a lot of people are portraying relatives of theirs. We got 12 of them that are direct descendants. That's pretty good. Uh, Maple is. Hill is, I'm copying Maple Hill to most. Yeah, Maple Hill does a fantastic job. They do, over they there. do. Yeah, but uh, they don't have as many direct descendants as we do. So it's coming out real well, real well. And what if somebody's direct descendant was somebody not to be proud of? Just don't say anything. Uh -huh. All right, Leave again, that, that part comes out. up uh, Sunday. It's all free. It's all free. We do ask donations, to, and, it all, and need to point out that all the donations go to repairs for the cemetery. And if you go through there and take a look, you'll see they ne always need repairs. All right, you wear that yeah, outfit all day long. That. Nope. <laughs> well, it prevents that plumber's crack, though, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't see like back it. there. <laughs> Y'all go see Buzz this, uh, this Sunday after church, 2 o'clock at the cemetery. <laughs> Anything else, Buzz? Congratulations on that award again. If anybody deserves Thank it, you. it's you. Mention one thing that uh, we have in a cemetery dedication, Dupree Cemetery, okay. 2 o'clock Saturday. It's the typical uh, dedication where we... Had, we bring out the colors. Our Someone. show, bud. Our show. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Anything else? That's it. All right. Don't ask the him buzz that's the show will continue at a later date. Right now, let's take a break. <laughs> City Council Rep. Jimmy Gill in the house. We'll talk with He's Jimmy here. just a moment. We'll eat some of that jerk chicken that they got cooking over there in the down home, hometown kitchen. But right now, we'll take a break. No. <laughs>
golden loving me. 